Yo, what up, my young king? It's your boy over here, back here with another video. So actually what we're going to be talking about in this video is, hey, as you guys saw, I'm going to be showing you how to keep the conversation going on Tinder. So a lot of people struggle with Tinder, and Tinder can be very hard because, like, you start messaging a bunch of girls, right? And then after a while, they just stop replying because, like, hey, the conversations are boring and dry, okay? So what I'm going to show you is how to just keep an interesting conversation on Tinder. So let's jump into this video. So yo, if you guys are new to the channel, I like giving guys dating advice, men's lifestyle advice, how to just be overall attractive male, how to approach girls, how to text girls, and all the good stuff. So if you guys like this kind of content, yo bro, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So let's jump into this video, okay? So the first tip I want to give you guys, in order to keep the conversation good, right? fun, playful, and tender. Yo, one thing to utilize is you find find something in her bio and talk about that because that's relevant to her. That's what she finds interesting. And just, hey, here's the perfect example, right? And you guys can relate because, hey, look at this. She says, I already regret downloading this app, okay? If you guys look on Tinder, majority, a lot of girls are gonna be like, hey, my friend made me download this app, or hey, I always delete this app, or hey, I regret deleting this app, okay? And when girls say that, I always message them like, yo, how come you hate this app, okay? Like, yo, why are you still on it? Or like, yo, what crazy stuff do guys be saying? Because I'm not gonna lie, I actually be kind of curious. <laughs> so that's why I asked that too. But you guys can see right here, right? You guys see the text conversation. I said, hey, what's up? So how come you regret downloading this app? Guys must be messaging you crazy stuff. And you guys can see, since it's something about her bio and this is something she's really interested in, she kept on talking a lot. She said, but you're fine as you're fine as hell. You're, but you're fine as hell. Girls must be messaging you all the time. And then what did I say? I can't lie. It's way harder to connect with people on Tinder. And then it's good to be picky. What do you look for? Okay. And she basically ended up just telling me what she looks for in a guy. Basically, this ran the basic stuff: good smile, deep voice, passionate, um, loving. Just the common stuff, okay? General criteria, right? But to pick tenders on pictures on Tinder are everything. Like always make sure to have high quality photos, okay? So every picture I use on Tinder, I also use my Instagram because like girls, because like the better quality your photos, the more options you're gonna get, the more girls you're gonna get. So like yo, your photos are directly proportional to everything, okay? So what's the gist of this, right? Whatever she puts in her bio is usually something that's relevant to her. So that's why if like, you talk about things in her bio, most of the time she's gonna be more willing to talk about that. But yes, most guys are gonna be messaging her about her bio, but like, yo, if you're that one guy, if you never knew this technique before, like, yo, this is a very powerful technique. And this is what I do for a lot of my openers, okay? And if you guys haven't seen my video on like eight Tinder openers or how to start a conversation on Tinder, make sure to check that out because this is solely for keeping the conversation going. And then not only this using her bio helpful, what she should do is use her picture, okay? And in her picture, this girl right here, she had like a nurse outfit. A white coat okay so what did i say you must be a nurse judging from your photos she said a medical system so i said now i know who to call if i ever get covid they said oh lord no keep away from me and then you guys see i always talk about gyps i inserted gyps making a funny playful like you ready said get away yo i hope you take better care of your patient she said hush and said i said i'm reporting you to your boss joking around then i asked where are you from okay so now i'm just joking around, keeping a conversation playful and funny. So I utilized something in her pictures and then I joked about it saying like, yo, I know who I'm gonna call if I get COVID. And she just had that same energy back, like, yo, get away. So now I'm just using a gif of mean just to create funny, playful conversation. And it's funny, like I say this on all my video, but using gifs and means, if you're not utilizing, it really makes the conversation interesting. It really makes the conversation playful. It really makes the conversation fun, okay? The next topic I wanna talk about is like, hey, you always want to be asking questions, okay? So in my last video, I talked about the concept of adding value and asking questions, right? So I always say like, I always add in and then ask them questions about their stuff. So like, yo, she might say, I'm a YouTuber. So I might say, I really, and I really like watching dog YouTubers and I really like comedy YouTubers. 
then I might ask a question like, yo, what is your YouTube content about, okay? So questions like that. And as you guys can see in this video, in this post, right? I just asked her, did you give up on quarantine also? She's joking around seeing what she said. So she sent me one message, no, I still care about putting other lives at risk, okay? So I didn't answer it because I, I don't know, I was busy or something like that. And she said, trust me, quarantine has me losing my mind, okay? So what did I say? Having given up, I just went to a few protests. See, that's my adding value. Then I said, what have you been doing to keep busy, okay? Now I'm asking questions. Now she's saying, saying what she says, respect. I really wanted to protest, but I couldn't because I've been spending a lot of time at my grandparents' house. Okay, then I said, that's, that isn't worth it, putting them at risk. And then I asked another question, how often do you see your grandparents? Uh, she said, um, I've been every day this week. And then I, what I say, I added value, wow, you are a good grandfather. I said, wow, you're a good granddaughter. Do they need a lot of support? So I'm asking a question. Okay, and you guys can see, she keeps on typing a lot. So. The way to keep the conversation, she can bite off of two things. When you're adding value or she can bite off the question. So now you're giving more options. See, I was realizing that, hey, a lot of guys that were showing me their text messages, a lot of guys are doing coaching calls with, what they would end up doing is like, hey, they would just talk about their self and they wouldn't ask questions back to the, the girl, okay? Like, yo, to keep the conversation going, you have to keep on adding value and you have to keep on asking questions so they can make it easier for them to keep the conversation going. If you ask them a question, they have a direct line that they know they have to answer to, okay? If you just add your value and don't ask the question back, like, yo, they might be stuck too. Like, they might be watching my videos figuring out how to ask questions or how to keep the conversation going. Because trust me, a lot of girls watch my channel, okay? So a lot of girls struggle with keeping conversations. So make it easier, okay, by asking these questions, okay? Like, yo, I'm, I always say this on all my videos, right? The best question to ask any girl on Tinder is like, yo, did you smash Prince O's like button? <laughs> but it's like, nah, smash the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And then you guys like this video, okay? If I get enough likes, I might make a part two. So before I jump to my last one, I have a question for you guys. So tell me, what do you guys do to keep the conversation going on Tinder? Leave in a comment because like, hey, I say this a lot too. Like, yo, your comment might help someone else out. Like, I respond to every single comment if you leave a comment because you never know. Someone might see the comment, they might text a girl and then boom, they may have a girlfriend, okay? Or boom, they might have another girl that they're messing with, okay? So like, yo, leave a comment. What do you do to keep the conversation going, okay? The last and final point is like, yo, bro, just be fun and playful. Like, I know some of you guys aren't naturally fun, but like, try and work on it. Try and just be this extroverted, playful guy, okay? And here's an example why being fun and playful always works, okay? I'm guessing you're just chilling on this nice Friday night. She says, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm just watching Netflix, okay? So the way I'm gonna be fun and playful, I say, please don't tell me you're watching the show, you. I could have been asking, what are you watching? But no, I add a little bit of personality, say, please don't tell me you're watching you, okay? And then she says, I no, I finished that yesterday. I'm not talking to any white dudes like ever, okay? And then she says, did you watch it? She says, cause honestly, W2. And I said, that guy is crazy, but I will say he is a bigger lover who doesn't cheat. And I said, yeah, I watched it. Got me looking out my windows every two seconds. And then she says, watch, he gonna cheat on the pregnant one with the neighbors. Then since she's crazy too, they are gonna kill both of them. And then what did I say? I said, please don't tell me you spoiled it for me. So now I'm joking and playing fun, like putting emojis, okay? So please don't tell me you spoiled it for me because I'm not out of value this time, but I'm just joking around. She said, "You did you watch it? I said, I didn't finish it, okay? And then what she says, well, I didn't spoil it that bad. I'm just hitting for season three. And what I do, I hit the, the meme, like, damn. Well, there's no point in finishing the season no more. <laughs> and then I said, you have an IG? And she says, you're good. It's still some wild stuff that happens. And she said, basically, she don't use IG that much. She uses Snap. And then I just told her to add me on Snap. And we talk, end up talking on Snapchat, okay? So now, if you guys can see that conversation, the fact that I just add some personality, like, yo, don't tell me you spoiled it for me. Or don't tell me you're watching you. So now I'm being jokey and playful. They can bite on it. they like, yo, what do, you, what do you have against that? Or, yeah, I am, okay? And then, as you guys can see, I use the jet or me to add some personality, like, See, all this stuff makes the conversation fun, makes it playful, and you have a better chance of getting conversations on Tinder. And 
since I'm towards the end of the video, basically what I want to say is like, hey, the main point about Tinder is like, yo, you want to get their number and get off the app. Because I'm be real with you, right? If you guys have friends that are girls and you see them use an app, they get so many messages, it's hard for them to see who they want to answer back. Even you might be good looking, right? She might stop answering because you didn't ask for the number fast enough. You didn't close fast enough, okay? So always try and ask for the number, Instagram, Snapchat, fast, okay? And then, yo, if you guys are struggling with your dating life, right? You guys are struggling with texting, like, yo, check out my Patreon. You guys can ask me three questions a month, okay? You guys also get access to my exclusive content that I can't post on YouTube. Because if I posted everything on YouTube, trust me, I would be banned. There'll be no more Prince O. They'd be locked up, yo. <laughs> and so, yo, I, and you guys also get access to a group chat for all Patreon supporters. So, yo, if you guys like that, check out the Patreon. Also, make sure to check out the recipe. It's just my fundamental program of how you can attract that girl of your dream. Is there a girl that you always want to approach? Is there a girl that you just want to be yours and make her your girlfriend? Or do you, are you just a beginner or an intermediate and you want to come advanced? Like, yo, this is my fundamental program. So, check out the recipe. Trust me, it'll transform your life today, okay? So, yo, guys, you guys watch this whole video through. I appreciate you. You mean the world to me, and you really help me out. You help my channel, and I hope I'm adding value to you guys, okay? So you guys like this kind of content, bro, make sure to smash the like button, and make sure to subscribe, and let me know in the comments what type of videos you guys want to see next, because I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So yo guys, I'm out.